Hello guys, this is the last tutorial on the series. What we'll be doing, we'll be uh, deleting the rope so that there's only one rope at a time. And we'll be solving some issues that, that haven't appeared yet but that might appear. So let's get started with uh, creating and deleting a rope. So on the pro hook script, which is the script that is, that is on the player, we want to create a variable called rope active. And what we want to do is, if there is no, when we click, if there is no rope active, we create a rope. Else, we delete the rope. So if the rope active equals to false, meaning there is no rope, then we do this exact thing. And in the end, we said that now there is an active rope equals true. Else, we want to delete the rope. We delete the rope and we want to make the rope active equal to false because there's now no rope. And the way that we're going to delete a rope is to destroy and destroy the current hook in place, just like so. Save and now, hopefully, there will only be one rope at a time in our scene. So, as you can see, there's only one rope, and if I click again. The rope disappears and there's only one rope in the scene. Now on to the issues. So as you may remember or not, in the first row of all I had this script here but it was not added to our stickman. So I'll add it now to the stickman and I'll show you exactly what it does. It's a very simple script. So all it does is on the start it just gives a little bump up to the player so that the player doesn't start falling straight away. And when you press on the A key here, then we give a little bit force to the player to the left, and when we press the D key, we give a little bit of force to the player to the right. And that's just what the script does. So let me just move this block out of the way. So let me first do the sprite renders of these nodes be active again because they are always useful. And if I hit play, you see that the rope is instantiated and it's not a very big rope but still as you can see the player doesn't control very well the rope and that's because each of the nodes is very heavy it's of mass 1 just like the player and we're going to make that so we're going to change that mass to something very small so let's say 0 0.0001 and also I'm going to show to make to be, make a camera a lot bigger so that we can see a big ass rope. So if I do create a rope, as you can see, the rope got all mad. This is because of the velocity iterations and of the position iterations, which is the iterations that Unity has to solve where should each one of these nodes be. And there's two reasons for that. This, the first one is because the, we put here a too much small of a weight, so if we can just put 0.1, this might not happen. So if I create a rope, as you can see, the rope is stable, but uh, if I try and give it some rotation, it's not. If I try and give it some speed, as you can see, the rope breaks again. And like I said, we have to change the number of iterations or that Unity has to solve where this each one of these nodes should be. So go on to Edit, Project Settings, Physics 2D, and in here you see Velocity Iterations and Position Iterations. Now I immediately put here 40 in each one and it solved the problem, but this might be a little bit heavy on your game, so make, make find a, the right value for you. Now you'll see that even if I put rotate this, the rope at very high speed, let me delete this from here, the rope won't fall, won't break apart like it was, like it would. So as you can see, right now the rope is not breaking apart, although I'm going at very high speeds. And that's basically it. And one last thing that I want to to change is that the rope the player can collide with the rope 
So as you can see right now, if I try and go there, the player is colliding with the rope. And if I don't want that to happen, there's a simple fix which I'll do right now to just change the layer, this layer. So I'm going to add here a new layer, call it no call for no collisions, and on a stickman, let's add that layer to it. And on the node and on the hook prefabs, let's add that no call as well. And now on the edit project settings physics 2D on this uh, matrix or alpha matrix, whatever you want to call it, you go on to no collision and you make sure that no collision doesn't collide with no collision. And this way, the rope won't collide with itself, nor the player will collide with the rope as you see right now. And that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want anything, any new feature, please let me know. And see you in the next one.